Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do another page in the Ken Masuda coloring book. And I picked out, let's see, the fish page. I just got to find it. <laughs> Usually I have it marked, but it's got to be back here then. Yeah, cats. I'll find it sooner or later. Sorry about that. I started a little tiny flower in it, so it's got to be around here. It's ducks. I can show you which page I'm doing if I find it on this bit. <laughs> then I'll find it in the other bit. The koi fish, this page here, so it's by the ladybug, which I'll probably find quicker than anything else. Um, can you see it? I'm going to try to do the colors that he's done here. So ladybug and whales. Ladybug. Whales, here we go. So it's this page here. I have some Tombow markers out to do the blue and the little yellow in here. So we're going to do kind of the flowers and the leaves first. It looks like a jumbled mess. I'll get you down a little closer to it. There you go. It also is cut off in a banner type um, situation. You'll see that little line here and then there's a little line here. So it only is this big. And if you look close enough, uh, you can see one koi fish here and one here. The rest of this is open space with the uh, leaves and flowers, or the only other thing on the page. So, tumble markers. I have to get out the yellows that I used. That's going to be harder to find than the other one. Uh, it was something like that. It might have been a little lighter. It doesn't matter. There. That's our color palette. This is a black one to get a little darker. Then we have the uh, lightest uh, blue in the set, number 451. A medium blue, 52. And a darker blue, which is 528. And then just two yellows to do the center dots. And we're going to get out a colorless um, Blender 000. And what I did was just take the lightest color and we're going to kind of go on the edge here and then bring the color down. This is how they're all going to be done. And there's a little trumpet part of it that comes up that way. Then we'll get the medium color. like that and then we'll get the darker okay medium color or darker color sorry and we're just gonna kind of go in we're gonna get uh, the colorless blender here so we can blend at the same time so I'm gonna hold two pens I'm gonna put a little of this color down and then I'm gonna go in with the colorless blender and kind of give it that watercolor effect that comes down. You can do this two ways. You can do it like I'm doing in the book or you can put this marker on a plastic sheet and pull it in like um, watercolor. 
I'll get one of those out. Show you what I mean. Let's see. Smaller one would be fine. It's just a plastic sheet. It's got some color on it. Probably ink tents, but I'm using the other side. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Just put a little on the paper. Cap it so the pen doesn't dry out. And then just pick up some here and go around it. Just build it up till you like the color you get. Okay. And then the yellow would just go in and be pulled out a little bit. Uh, yellows are nine five or nine eight five and nine nine one. So it's just a kind of a golden color. Darker in the middle. This one's gonna be too sorry. Try this one like a buttercup color. It's just a little lighter and bring it out. Okay, and if you want to make that any darker, you can just get some pencil. You could do this with pencil, but it'll be a little bit um, bumpier. Got to work a little bit more on it, and my arms are not happy with me today, so I'm not going to mess with them. I'm just going to have fun coloring to find my blues. Hold on a second. Okay, the blues I'm using are the Polychromos in the Light Cobalt Turquoise, Light Phalo Blue, and Dark Indigo, which are basically the same colors that I just used. So if you wanted to, I'll put them in the same order here. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, the Light Phalo, or the light cobalt, turquoise, the phalo blue, and this is a dark, but not as dark as the indigo, because it's a dark indigo, so it'll add a little bit more depth to the flower here. I'll make sure it's dry, and we'll go around the edge and kind of bring it in, kind of just tracing around the lines here, and then bring some of that color down. Okay, we're going to bring in the light phalo blue.
the turquoise. We're going to bring in a little white. It's the whole vine. Five, oops, wrong one here. 501. Sharpen that. And we're just going to add a little bit of the white color in to give it some more highlights. Bring it down into that yellow. We're covering up some of those black lines with it. And there we have kind of a cool flower effect there. The center will get a little bit more white with a Tosca pen. Boom. We'll add those little, oh, we'll try. Add those little stamen pieces in with that. There we go. So that's how all those flowers are going to be done. They may be different shaded. Uh, some might be lighter, some might be darker, just how you go up. But that is how I'm going to do them. So while that is drying there, I will get out some green so we can show you how I'm going to do the leaves. Okay, I have two colors out. One is 228. This is my favorite green here. And uh, 192, which is a little bit brighter, uh, kind of gold color. We need our palette because they do come out kind of dark. And that's a really pretty gray green color, kind of like the earth green. And this one's brighter. Okay, we're going to use our palette to get them off of this just so it'll water them down even a little bit more than they would have been. And we're just going to go over the leaf here. Okay, leaving the top a little lighter and the um, bottom part a bit darker. Get into the other color and blend it in there. Do this one here too. Maybe these little baby guys down here. We got this big one up here by the um, flower we just did. We'll do that one.
Okay, get those colors down. Keep this over there, and we will get out the um, two coinciding green pencils. So if you want to do it in pencils, you can. Okay, where's the earth green? Come on. There we go. So we have the earth green, and I got two other pencils. One's the olive green yellowish. The other one is chrome green opaque. I like these two two but this gives a little different coloration so it might work pretty well we're going to go in with the earth green and just shade up these leaves a little bit better the um, pens are helping lay down a solid colored base also brightens them up a little bit so when you put pencil work on you get a nice smooth look. Put a little green in there too. And I think there are tiny little leaves here. So we can color that one in just with the earth green. Pretty sure that's, doesn't look like it's connected. We'll put green on that. Okay, then we'll go in with the uh, chrome green opaque. I went out of the lines there. My eraser. Make sure it's clean. And then figure out where you went out the line. Get it erased. Just so I don't forget where it was. Do 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 back in. <laughs>
Okay, and that is how we're going to work on those. If you want to, you can bring a tiny bit of white in. Just to accent the vein work a little bit. It's a tedious thing to do, but adds a little something to the leaves. leaves, flowers, and we'll work on a fishy fishy. Might as well work on this fish since we're on this side of the page. Um, his fish are quite um, colorful. So they're got white, reddish colors with some orange, yellow, black. And the fin kind of turns white in the end here. This one's a little more redder. This one has deeper colors uh, just because koi fish are not perfectly marked. So we're going to use the Tombows and add the color in watercolor type fashion. I'm still working on my watercolor technique so don't get all excited. <laughs> what it's going to be when it's done. <coughs> Excuse me. But I think when you're doing watercolor, it, that's the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to just go with the flow and let the water do what it's going to do. So I'm going to take the blue off of this. This is the Karen Dash, um, I don't know, what do they call this? Blending board? I'm using this soft shiny side not the scribble side. This one if you want to do um, watercolor pencils, ink tents, it'll collect the pencil better on the rough side. I'm doing markers so I'm using the smooth side. And I'm going to get a water brush because I kind of want it to go blah blah blah. Technical term, huh? <laughs> We're gonna get out a red and uh, uh, an orangish color. If this is a reddish orange. That'll look okay. We have the black out. Um, we have a yellow out, which is yellow gold. We'll, what else? We could probably use a light gray. I don't know how light that is, but it will be if it's in water. And, um, yeah, we'll see what we can do with this. I just have a water brush. This happens to be the Derwent water brush. Um, I don't have a preference. They all basically use the same principle. Tube down here, fill with water, a button or a squishy point on your water brush to bring the water down the chamber to the brush. I do like the, um, what do you call that? The smallest fine tip. Uh, we're going to be doing little tiny work here, but most color books aren't huge. What you're coloring is smaller, so there we go. That is red. I think I want a deeper red than that, so we're going to pull out a different color. What do we got? That's brown. That would turn it, but I don't know if I want to mix a whole bunch of stuff. What are you? Uh, somewhere in between this, we're going to get a coloration. So I'll pull them all out. 899 was the brown color. 5 or 757 seven is that uh, color there. And the red we used is 847. Then we're going to throw a little bit of this orange. Same orange we used before. No, no, the orange is new. 905. This one is the yellow we used before. We'll see. I'll throw a little gray in here. Shadowy and a little black because we're going to make this one have some black on it. But it's a little color down there. 
I'm going to start with the red though, or the orange. It's not really orange, whatever color this is. And we're just going to kind of go like where his um, darker pieces are here. Because uh, those are his shadow pieces. Okay. Put some of that down there. And kind of follow the fish up. A little fish here, a little fish here. And then our tail is going to have a little color in it. Okay. Add a little bit of red into that. A little of this, a little deeper color. We can mix those two together. Throw the brown in there. Dot a few in the scales. Throw a little black in it. Go. A little more black in here. We can do that with a pencil too. I need to get an orange orange because that other orange is kind of peachy. That is not orange either. Yeah, it's orange. Get some of that in there.
up another fin over here somewhere. That's not the orange I used. Where's the orange I used? <sighs> I had it out. <laughs> I clicked it off, used it, put it where? Oh, please don't tell me I put it someplace I wasn't supposed to. So I didn't like this one. Put that over there. Oh boy. Put it away. Let's not do that again. And we'll let that dry. While we have these colors out, why don't we go ahead and do the other fish too. We'll just start with a red color on him. He doesn't have as much black on him. I don't think he had any black, but we'll figure it out. It just has to look like a fish. It doesn't have to look like his fish. <laughs> just a fish. leaves here. some of that red in there. Throw a little of that black in there.
Then on this one, we're going to add a little yellow. I think I want a little brighter yellow. Yeah, that's bright. <laughs> See what it does. get that yellow pen to go back in so I won't do it. Okay, I'm gonna let those sit dry and charge my battery so we'll be back in just a second okay everything's dry here got out a couple of pencils a red and a kind of a red orange so they're light cadmium red which is kind of an orange color and alzerian crimson so I'm going to work on this little guy here. I kind of messed with another little flower while I was coloring. This one's going to be a light one. Go around the edge with white. So they'll go in between the dark and the light. This is just the cobalt, light cobalt turquoise and the phalo blue. Light phalo blue together with the white on top and a yellow in the middle. So we're going to start off with the redder color, which is the Alzerian Crimson, and we're just going to go around and kind of darken the sides here. Okay, the fish is round. We want to make them look a little rounder, not flat. Let's see. I think it goes in like that. Not sure. And then we'll pull some of that into the tail. Okay. Go around. Then we'll bring in the light cadmium red. That kind of gives us our orange color. Then we'll bring in the white and just kind of cover up the um, whiter areas of our fish. Kind of blend it right into those colors.
If we got a little of that color in the uh, leaves, we can just go over it with the white and we'll get that color out. I'll we'll have to pull some white down in the tail. And into the fins. Gonna make some circles there to follow the pattern of the um, scales in the fish. Just to add some in, blend it a little bit. Okay, and we'll get the black into his eye. Just going to accent the whiskers, make them out, come out a little longer, and the fins of his tail. And of course, his little arm fins, too, that we already did. We're going to pull that color up just a little bit. There. Looks like a pretty cool fish. <coughs> I'm going to use a little of this dark black here too and add into the leaves. Gonna do that all the way around when I come well what I'm gonna do is stop right now part two will be finishing up this fishy on this side I'll have more of the blue flowers done and some more of the leaves and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do in the background so I hope you guys are enjoying and I will see you in the next one as always I will leave uh, all the pencils and pens I've used in the description box and if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section and I hope you all have a wonderful day take care everyone bye now